Welcome to final round coverage of the 2024 Bucks Cuts Invitational at Cooley Creek. Weather for today, 70 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds. Ian Cooley shooting an impressive six under par last round with a total of nine under par. Thomas Sabelko not far behind, five under par last round. He'll be three strokes back of Ian. Also, Chase Broswell sitting at one under par. He'll be looking at recovering from last round's quadruple bogey on hole 11. He'll have his work cut out for him. We have Stephen Cooley sitting at even par, closing out our lead card. Hole 1, par 3, 389 feet. It'll be left side or right side woods. We are reverting back to the buck layout for the surrounding. You think Ian is going to play safer this round or cheap with his game plan? I think he's going to cheap with the game plan. Cheap to battle to metal. <laughs> now, I think Thomas is probably going to have to play a little bit more aggressive this round. Three strokes behind. And this is one of the holes where you can make up some ground. That his lefty really comes in handy there. Yeah. Leaving it out left, though, yeah. it's going to be a hard putt. What do you think Chase has to do after last round? Something very impressive. That's for sure. He's going to have to tack on a lot of birdies, probably eagles. Yeah, right. if not right. three. Because with the way Ian's been playing, I don't think he's shooting bad this round. I, I think he's going under par. I agree. Hey, Joe. Now, Stephen Cooley's joining us for the first time. Stephen? Just throwing both lefty and back and right hand. Right. Yes, he injured his right elbow. And so he's throwing both righty and lefty to not put the full strain of a three-round tournament on one arm. Thomas leaving it left side. This is a really good drive from Ian. What a statement pop from Ian there. Rest of the card tapping out their pars. Pull to par for 550 feet. Ian play extremely safe, it looks like. That should be good. Now, this is one of the holes that I think Chase will be thinking of going for the eagle on. Looks like Thomas is also playing pretty aggressive. As long as it doesn't push long, it should be a good shot from Steven, but I think it might have pushed long. Steven's got some distance. Looks like Chase also pushed a little long. Yeah. Almost vertical with his throw. Oh, what an up. Gonna be watching a roll out there. Yeah, it's going to be a tough putt. Steven is similar area up. Also a decent up. But could have been better. I do not think Thomas is happy with that run.
and just a simple for him little chip Looks like Chase is still struggling a little bit on the green. That's a good make from Thomas. Ian is putting the pressure on. Two down through two. Striping it. What a shot. I think that's his best drive on this hole through all three rounds. And to do it when you're leading like that, that's not easy. Not a bad drive from Thomas as well. He sneaks down there. Chase pretty similar to the last round. Just keeping it a little too straight. But I think that one drops shorter. And it looks like Steven pulled his drive a little bit. And he's going to be scrambling. Steven electing about the forehand. Not his specialty throw. Only breaks it out on utility shots. Oh, Thomas catching an unlucky branch. Good up from Thomas. And a good up from Steven. Well, after all those throws, Ian's drive all the way out into the gap. Oh. Like giving it a little bit. Go, That's a good putt from Chase. Ian is stepping on the gas right now. Three down through three holes. He's applying a lot of pressure. Now he's gotten big hyzer round one and flex shot round two. So let's see how he attacks it this time. Get through all that. Kind of a perfect mix of the two. Yeah. There you go. Oh, flexing hyzer. Should be in circle one on the green. Chase leaving it a bit less, but there is a gap. Thomas also with a great drive. Could be right up there with Ian. Steven turning it over a little bit, and I just back. Reaps a little bit left, or is he dark? Chase finding the little dat. Left side. A little more meat on the bones than Steven wanted, but he makes that one in. Ian just low. Oh, oh. That was an important putt for Thomas. 
Ian gave him the opportunity to gain one on him. And these chains are heavy, so you gotta full commit to him. Full five, par three, 141 feet, straight down the gap. Ian, pretty similar to round one, leaving it just short on the left side. Steven making it most of the way down on the right side. Great putt from Steven. Our chase kicked all the way over to there. This is an extremely awkward lie. But he makes it. I was a bit worried there for... I thought the lead card wouldn't get any birdies on one of the shortest holes. All right. Hole 6, par 3, 170 feet. OB Creek in front and behind the basket. Chase looking to park it right down the middle again. <laughs> That's not even a thing. Steven with a very good shot right down the middle. He has been going this Heiser 4 am play both rounds. And I think that's the best of all three rounds. Thomas goes the same route as Ian. And maybe a bit long. <laughs> it's a scary putt. There's creep right behind it. There you go, Chase. Um, looks like Thomas found a little trail over near. Leaving it just low and left. Ian is capitalizing on every time that Thomas isn't able to get a hole. Ian's opened it up to six strokes. Half the holes remaining. Thomas is going to have to make a stroke a hole average at least. That's a good shot for me in. Steven leaving it way right, but giving it the distance to get over. All right, Thomas needs to answer here. It's looking pretty good. That yeah, should be really close. Good putt from Thomas. Nice. 
Thanks be for Ian to answer Thomas's birdie with his own. Nice putt. Hole 8, par 5, 650 feet, Island Green. That's a good shot for me, Ian, but if there was a hole to change the outcome of the tournament, this would be. Eyes are back. Good shot from Chase. Not sure where that ended up for Stephen. Thomas is going for the island as he needs to. And you see this skip, so it at least hit the island. I think Chase might be short. I saw some grass move up there. Now, Ian's in a prime position to go for the eagle, but that brings a lot of danger into play if he doesn't make this island. It's going to be close. It looked a bit right. Steven with the farthest drive of the bunch. That was leaking left. So chase from the drop zone. And Steven is well in the drop zone. Pulling that a ways right, but it looks like he ended up safe. And he puts it away. Thomas for Eagle. Oh, right through the heart. <laughs> that hurts his chances for sure. Now, Thomas is going to be tapping in the birdie, but Ian is just tapping in the Eeyore. Taking his time. So Ian is going to go one stroke up on Thomas again. Full nine, part three, 358 feet. Ian, wow. is, Ian is sending a statement or help. Nice. That's a great forehand right there. A very good group of drives from the whole card, really. Good yeah. Knocks it down.
Chase letting out a little bit of frustration. Thomas is going to need something special at this point to catch again. There is only three holes left and a seven stroke difference. And Ian appears to have made it all the way down the gap. And it's looking like Ian pretty much has the round secured. It would take a disaster on either the approach here or a next hole with OB. Steven with a very early kick. Chase throwing a good shot. Very nice out from Thomas to get through everything. Ian letting one slip, but I don't think it's going to be enough to ruin his rabbit. Ian's going to be able to play ultra safe on these next couple of holes. Hole 11, par 5, 556 feet. This could be the final nail in the coffin. Oh, kicks in the woods a little bit there. Thomas was a beautiful shot. Third time in a row. Chase also was a nice shot. Steven missing the gap, much like he missed his 2021 FGOC championship title. Steven with an okay up after his garbage drive. He had not playing it safe at all, going aggressive with the forehand. Chase going with the big high turnover. I don't know if that landed on the green. And Steven sending that straight into OB. Makes sense. Looks like good width from Thomas. Ian in a bit of trouble, but it looks like he got out. Steven following up another garbage throw with a good one. Chase just unable to connect on the birdie. 
Or was that for Eagle? That was for Eagle, wasn't it? And picking up. Chase knots it down. And I apologize, we missed the drives on the final hole 12. This is likely Steven's eighth shot. And with that, I think he is ready to leave the course. Wow, that was a strange spit out for Thomas. And with that par, Ian is going to secure his Bucks Cuts 2024 Invitational Victory. By a large margin. Congratulations, Ian, on an impressive three rounds, playing hot in both rain and shine, showing us how to get it done on the course. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors, including LR Designs, Dynamic Discs, and Bucks Cuts. That's going to do it for the 2024 Bucks Cuts Invitational. Thank you for coming alongside myself and Jonathan Vesnes in commentary. Look forward to seeing you all next year. So long.